win and that's it. They're all. It's almost like when Italy won the World Cup down here in Australia, mate. We had Italy in every uh, indoor soccer competition, you know, people wearing Italy shirts, etc. The same sort of thing. I think you'll see a lot of uh, players come in from the Russian market now that Cool is uh, back on top in a sense. I guess the world the world finals will be the world finals, so uh, Cypher told me. Vote now. And the World Championships, I mean, they're going to be a very, very exciting uh, weekend. Um, what were we going to say there, Drake? No, uh, a Russian guy who translated something with Kula said. He said, uh, I want you, uh, I want to meet you on LAN or something. Or I want to play you on LAN. He said something like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's why I think Kula is so popular as well. This is uh, <laughs> his relentless. So He's yeah. basically saying he's an onliner, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. So I'm getting like five different translations now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay. that uh, word you said in the beginning meant suck my dick. <laughs> when he was giving those uh, rockets, he said something like da. Da means yes. And posy or what is it? What a posy or whatever he said it means suck my dick. Yeah, saucy means saucy, yeah. saucy means suck my dick. Yeah. Prepare to fight. Oh, straight into it. Team 13, first map. All right, Three, Agent. We'll see what he's got. What, he, what can he bring one. to the table? I guess he's an uh, online game. It's obviously what he's known for, Agent. It is, sir. Uh, Semi final as well, there we are, very nice. So, best of three, is it? Yeah, still best of three. Still best of three, alright, no worries. Agent dealing a very nice butt kind of shotgun there as Cooler is uh, forced to retreat and collect that yellow. Red's next item up, and uh, you can see Agent's already got the lightning gun. He hasn't got rockets just yet, but Cooler is going to be uh, in a problem if he finds himself on the bridge without a lightning gun. Pavel rage quitting, he doesn't want any more of this. Very nice, Agent picking up Mega and uh, Cooler now will try to head around to Lightning Gun but get caught out and Agent there took a, still a fair amount of damage but uh, he did make the frag. He tried to drop down to red but a nice little place rocket there for Cooler will push him aside. Agent will be hoping that 50 bubble is up and yeah and it's not. It was collected just a, a minute ago. And there we go, now he's going to move through the teleporter. Mega's not up for a little while, and then Mega, shortly after, will uh, need to be red. We'll see whichever player collects Mega if they uh, will head around to red. Agent, a little bit late for uh, Mega, and Cooler will take him to a fight. Out of lightning gun range though, and Cooler will take red. So, I mean, we see this a lot of times when both items are up at the same time. The guy in red's able to force the guy in Mega to take that red. Actually, a lot of damage through that teleporter, and Agent, really, I have no idea how he dealt so much and didn't receive any, really. He's going to take that yellow, and he's going to be able to take both yellows away, actually, if he heads back around to lightning gun, and he doesn't need any more ammo, so he's going to head back around to rockets. Well, no, he doesn't need rockets, but he's going to need red, and Cool is sitting on it, so he's not going to notice that, and Cool will take it for free. And this is where Agent's been good, and already the rockets are cornering him down at that grenade launch platform. And it doesn't matter that Agent slipped off the platform because his rockets were just so misplaced that uh, Kula was forced to step in the lava to try and dodge them. And Agent just having a really nice start and again Kula having difficulty uh, online on a, with an online opponent. Yeah, I mean uh, Agent beat Strengths uh, at Sotek like several times I think, or one time. And Strengths is like one of the better players online as well. So. There you are, some more trivia. 
Cooler really early for that mega. Stays strong on it though, and Agent is forced away with the shotgun. What cool? What is cool gonna do? Oh, very smart move. Very nice little drop down there. And you know, had Agent been a bit quicker on the shotgun thing, yeah, he probably would have made that frag. Cooler was extremely low himself. Who's the other, other semi-final between uh, Draven Cipher and? Um, well, they still have to play the quarterfinals. It's uh, Alpha Omega against Golink. So either one of and those will play uh, Cypher. Play Cypher. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it might be Golink. I don't really know who the other guy is, and I only really heard of Golink because of the European Championships. So well, who's the other guy? Can you feel well, I used to play uh, Alpha Omega, and he's pretty good on the old maps. So he can, I think he can beat Golink. So there are so many Russian players, really. It's, uh, like yeah, yeah. 50 Russian players so, who are cool, like start, pretty good. Started a wave. Yeah. Yeah. Started a rebellion or something. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna try and populate the world championships with Russians. Cooler with the red and Mega still in control, and uh, Agent, of course, he uh, did recently just die, so he had to uh, collect uh, all the weapons again and uh, get himself some armor. I wonder how much trash talking will come out if Cooler wins or loses this game now that he's uh, in the mood for it. Very nice little uh, catch out there from Agent. Quick with the lightning gun and straight away goes and gets some more. Oh, he's a bad rocket though coming around that corner. 50's not there for him, he's going to have to come out in the open and collect that 50 and... No, nah, he won't even stay out, he won't even risk it. He's not, he doesn't have enough health and enough armor to take a fight out on the bridge, so he's just leaving it there. And there you are, coolest scare tactics, you know, he's gonna be able to keep red up and just t collect that yellow, because Agent is just way too scared right now. And Cool can sense it, you know, he hasn't seen Agent in the middle of the map for a while, so he knows that Agent's just a bit worried, and Cooler very, uh, luckily heard Agent there above him. Had he come up the teleport, it could have been devastating for him. Oh, uh, the launch pad, sorry. And Agent just too scared to drop on anything right now, and he doesn't even really want to stick around and try to force a fight. I think he's pretty happy playing the back skirts of the map. Obviously, DM13, you can play a very nice defensive game. And the second he comes out in the open, you know, Cool has got him straight away, direct rocket, and he's forced back to play the yellow armor game again and build up that 200 armor and then maybe, you know, come out again. See Cooler leaving red up. Very nice fear game he's got running here, and uh, Agent will try to. Uh, Maybe get a time on Mega. No, he doesn't even want to come near it. That's it. He's uh, happy just sitting back and letting Cooler take free items. You know, 200, 200. I, I would suggest that Cooler can take a lot of damage coming at, at Agent. And if Agent doesn't hit his shots, he is going to make the frag. The thing that's nice about Agent playing defensive right now is that he's got a lot of ammo. 15 rockets, you know, 140 uh, lightning gun, 100 plasma. He's got plenty of, you know, weapons to just stay defensive. Stay, you know, stay out of the center of the map. He's slowly walking to center bridge. See if he can collect the yellow. Obviously, it's the quickest route for him because setting a trap very nicely. And, uh, you know, even though he's a direct rocket, he's still, still going to be very healthy. And this is a bit risky from Cooler, you know, he had the uh, the wrong position in that fight and Agent just hearing him underneath, being able to just send rockets down at him and Cooler not really being able to do much about it. Again, still 200 so it doesn't really matter, you know, Cooler can afford to make a little bit of a mistake, I guess, if Agent's really not going to capitalize on it. 100, 200, you know, the only thing that's separating these players at the moment is the mega health. Oh, actually, now Cooler's armor is not as good as I thought it was. Oh, now it is. And Agent still, you know, does not want to be caught out on the rocket launch platform. And Cooler's just playing very calm game, you know, setting traps, trying to figure out where Agent's going to be, what he can do to stop it. Here he comes. His rockets aren't that good, though. And Agent is able to get the first frag. 
And uh, very close health though. Agent Lit left on 60, uh, sorry, 6 health after that fight. And Cooler can sense it and he's going to come strong off the spawn. Red's there for him and he doesn't really have much time to waste. You know, he's going to have to push hard for items. Too much time. Too much time trying to play the smart game, and now he's gonna have to play the desperate game. You know, four frags down with two minutes left on DM13 is uh, well would have hurt. You really have to uh, put yourself in some awkward situations and just hope that you know your rockets are good or you get a nice little uh, positioning on your opponent. And Asian right now just shutting him out of the map, which is a very smart move there from Asian, just to uh, stay strong. Now that he's uh, made that frag and uh, Cooler's on a fresh spawn. And you can see now, Agent's really confident to hold center map, you know, no no dramas for him right now, and I'd suggest that he is going to take this map away from Cooler, which is a very nice feat as well, you know, this is one of Cooler's stronger maps. And you know, he's already been beat in uh, two maps now in this competition, I think that uh, people are starting to see that Cooler... Uh, isn't invincible, even though we are playing online. I didn't see Cooler's ping, but our Agents is 95, so there you are. Vault well played, Agent. Very uh, agreeing with that, Storm. because the mumble uh, give me two seconds and I'll be able to, to fight. so actually I was wrong Asian's ping is 12 and Cooler's ping is 25 so I'm not sure why it read just 95 in the last time. might have just been at the end uh, scoreboard bug or something Nice start here from Cooler. Oh, but missing those rails is going to be costly. And Asian coming very aggressive once again. Feeling very, very confident actually to take Cooler on in, in close range fights. Just like on the M13, you know. As soon as he had enough, I'd say armor and then position, you know. As soon as he felt like he had a better position, he was just like, that's it, I'm taking the fight. And you know, he won out in the corridors on DM13 and he's already won out early game here. Cooler was some great LG though, and, and like I said in the last map against Pavel, Cooler's LG has been amazing. 33%, so uh, yeah, that's basically what it was last time I said it was 30% on uh, C7. So I got some inside uh, info. Um, Cooler was like practicing with Agent before EIM, and Agent won quite a lot against him before IAM, So probably just knows his game style. Yeah, probably. Very yeah. Well. So some players can counter players very well nicely. So, but yeah, that's interesting news. Um, Agent helping Cooler boot camp, I guess. And you know, I remember reading was a. Toxic. Oh, nice frag. Nice little cheeky frag there from Agent. Um, yeah, I remember reading a Toxic interview saying that before big tournaments, you know, he likes to play the sort of lower tier players, mainly because, you know, you don't give away your strategy and it builds your confidence as well. Like, you know what you have to do on the on the day, it's just a matter of if you hit your shots or not. Yeah, he was uh, playing against Nani, some other Swedish player, and but uh, he was pretty good after, like, getting raped all the time by his Toxic, so... After a while, he got really good, so maybe it helps playing against Toxic all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if Agent makes an impact at all this year on the uh, land scene. And uh, of course, Pavod, you know, I'd like to see him on land as well. It's the I same with we'll uh, with uh, Avec and uh, the Polish Toxic, because uh, he improved a lot as well, because of playing uh, with a Avec a lot. Yeah. I must say in Australia since Dan's got back, uh, everyone sort of stepped up their games a lot as well. Like at the start when Dan first got back, he was annihilating players and then 
like the most recent tournament we had, which is the Oceanic IEM qualifiers. Everyone, you know, they were really close games. Ben, Zelo, unfortunately, Cha Cha missed out on a closer game, but like closer than the scoreline red anyway. But yeah, I yeah. think it'll be re really interesting to see the uh, World Championships. Right? I guess they're all like like uh, studying like the players or like top and shit. Yeah. Asia doing a very nice job here of keeping Kuru at bay and... Yeah, I don't know, Kuru's sort of running out of options now. He's used to playing the defensive game, I guess, a little bit on ZTN, except, of course, that Havoc comeback. So, we'll see if he can be inspired and do it again. Although, it's not much of a comeback to Frags. He is uh, completely out of control, though. And uh, the Frags squad is just getting bigger. He can almost get this red here, and Asia can sense that. Oh, very nice. Actually, you know that rocket didn't do as much damage as I thought it did. Yes, this is the Lowland Lions uh, semi-finals. If you are just tuning in, Agent won the first map, Team 13. So it looks like he is on the way to knocking out the champion and uh, moving on into the grand final. And uh, of course, we have got the other semi-finals too coming up after this. Cipher versus the winner of. Uh, Jeez, I forgot the players. Draven again. Uh, Alpha, Omega, and uh, Golink. That's right, so uh, stay tuned for some uh, Lowland Line and Level Up TV action. Cooler now retaining 200 200, and this is when we like to see Cooler play, you know, with control. Failing red jump, wow, failing another rocket jump. A little bit unfortunate there. Every time he uses that item by and it just gets uh, it gets me going that he's just like stressed or something, you know? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe it just, I don't know. People have their reasons, I guess. I never remember him used to doing it. Has he only just started doing it recently or something? I think he started recently. Ah, uh -huh, okay. I'm sure we'll see a lot of cooler wannabes out there doing it. Well, I do it as well, but I'm not really <laughs> <laughs> cooler wannabe. <laughs> Don't lie to us, Draven. Seriously. Nah. Very nice play there from Cooler to get both Red and Mega, even though they're up at the same time. He's getting a bit more frantic now, he's searching, and here we go, Cooler Agent caught out, oh, very played, very uh, calmly there. And he's just doing it more and more right now, it's actually getting annoying, I'm sorry guys. Oh, there we are, catching uh, Agent out, Agent is going to have to be very quick on his feet here, no health bubbles for him, he's still railable, but we'll see a snap rail here from Cooler, Agent playing very smart though. Oh, there we go, there's that rail we were looking for. And Cooler now to finish the job. Actually, Agent is trying to uh, duck around, knowing that Cooler would come into the room. Hey. Yeah, it is a bit like Captain Alpha. Agent's just really. He's trying to run for us, he's just trying to keep the three frags going for as long as he can. He's got a set of Dahank's Nikes on. Yeah, if anyone wants to play Clone, we'll get that joke. Otherwise, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, here we go. Cooler's opportunity now. He really needs to hit a rail gun. He's going to come up that launch pad. Oh, that rail could have done it. Wow, I mean, Asian is so... Oh, here we go. No. Cooler's like, he's moving too fast, but they're not stopping quick enough, if that makes any sense. Uh, kinda. <laughs> can you imagine, can you imagine how much flame is gonna come this? Oh, there we go, first frag. Well, not first frag, but the first frag since a while. 
five three now. He's still got two more frags to catch Agent, and Agent is got still in his running mood. He collects the rail from his dead body and uh, goes hard with the plasma. He's gone for the fight. He needs to hit an exit rail. He does not though. And Cooler is still healthy enough and clean enough to take the next frag. And now it's a one frag game, two minutes on the clock, Agent's sort of snapped out of the uh, running mode and he's going to fight back. He has been brought out by a nice uh, move by Cooler and 5-5, five, five. all that running for nothing. You know? Came you down to one frag, yeah, there we are, look at that, you would be devastated. And now Agent's going to be forced to do something, you know, he can't even force the overtime anymore now that he's break down, he's going to have to try and get him in, on, in on an item. Nikula has been retaining control very well. Either get in on an item or hit some unbelievable shots. What's he gonna do? There's his only two options. He does have the uh, art artillery to do it. He's just gotta get the position right. And the uh, probably could be a bit healthier on the stack. Reds up. Ooh. Oh no, Nikula hits a nice early rocket onto him. And Agent doesn't even stick around for the fight, he does not want to lose any more health and armor than he needs to. He's just going to save it all for the last 10 seconds, you can see it coming in his eyes. He's dropped down from Mega, oh and he drops in on Mega timing. His rockets are good though, and he could get that frag he needs. Railgun out, he needs a lightning gun or a railgun, Cooler does not run and... Wow, I cannot believe, I would even call that a choke there from Agent. He just did not expect Cooler to stay and fight. And uh, over predicted his lightning gun beam. He, he thought that he'd run back, pull it, run back to the teleporter. And uh, wow, that is more than likely going to be it for Agent. And that's going to be 1 1. As we. Actually, I'm not sure what the third map is. <clears throat> as I hit a quick spike. And uh, that is game. So well played from Cooler. Wow, I can't believe Agent stuffed up that little uh, end fight. He really started very nice in it. And then the LG just. Uh, Got the better of him. Crooked, yeah. Look, he was he was going for Cooler to run with the lightning gun, and Cooler stayed stand his ground and actually moved forward into the fight. So, Agent didn't predict that. Very nice. If you do want to check on the brackets, it's up on uh, ES Reality. Of course, we've only got. Four, well, now. actually, is the other games decided yet, or Golink and um, Alpha Omega, or no, are they waiting um, for us? I'm not sure, but uh, I told Cypher to wait for us, so... So I guess he will, so... <laughs> I actually spoke to Cypher uh, when he came back on MSN, I said to him, I was like, you know, bad luck. It looks really promising on the uh, first day, like they uh, talked about, the Shoutcast has talked about a few times. And he just said to me, you know, the World Finals will be the World Finals, so it's going to be uh, very interesting to see how they match up in the Lowland Lions Cup if they do reach the finals against each other. But they are getting straight into the last map, Fuller versus Agent 1-1 in the semi-finals. And a nice start there from Agent, picking up weapons off the bat and a frag. And another frag, maybe. Cooler's trapped down there, and very nice rockets, very well played from Agent, but that's going to give Cooler the red spawn because Agent was too far on the yellow side of the map, so even though he's made two quick frags, Cooler's got the lightning gun, rocket launcher, and the red armor to back him up in the next fight. All uh, item times are roughly within three seconds of each other, so it's definitely up for grabs, so not a big loss for Cooler, as he does hit two nice rockets under Agent, and a third. We'll come in for Mega, actually, he's pretty hungry for it. He's going to... Maybe lose out on red here. He's got to be really quick. And actually, Agent's not jumped to it, so Cooler uh, playing very nicely off the item. And Cooler, there we are. Very clever game. I don't think Agent's as good as Pavel on this map, so it might be hard for Agent to keep Cooler at bay on Arrow Walk. And now it's up to Agent to make a move. He's lost out on Red, he's lost out on Mega, and he's going to try and take these green armors to build up whatever he can. 
And he's actually lost out on yellow as well, so Coolis got the items very nicely. Mega's up very shortly, and once again, you know, all items are within a nice distance, so Coolis should be able to retain all three item control. Agent's just trying to deal whatever damage he can, but Coolis not that stupid. He's gonna predict where Agent is gonna be. And look at this, waiting on the red, very nicely played. He does give up the yellow, but he gives up the yellow at the price of delaying the red, so that's more important. Asian doing a very good job of staying alive, but Cool has not really forced, forced a frag just yet. He hasn't really come in for a kill. He's almost just trying to play the uh, range game a bit on him. And now, the mistake of the items being uh, overlapping, Agent can maybe get in on one. Cool is going to play very smart. He's positioning himself between Red and Mega, which is uh, obviously the right move, but you can see Agent's just waiting up there because he knows that if Cool ducks down to Mega, he's going to jump for Red. And he knows that Red has been picked up for a while, and here he goes. He's going to have to push in, and uh, it's too late. Cooler moved too quickly, and by the time Agent realized that Cooler had gone for Mega, it was uh, too late. Cooler was already back at Red. Good position now, Agent's uh, in two rails, three health. He's definitely gonna have to try and play do something desperate. Uh, and he's not gonna get away. Cooler does hunt him down with the lightning gun. Not a good enough there, spawn there for Agent. Oh, and a lightning gun rail off the spawn. One health, wow. Agent's gonna be tied up and down on the uh, item control. You are tied for the lead. And here we go, now it's all up to Agent, you know, he's going to have to once again be forced to make a move, be forced to do something out of control, he's, you know, all three maps now he's had the lead and he's had to retain control or retain the defensive style, he played it very nicely on DM13, ZTN he uh, opted for the running instead of uh, playing damage and then running, he just completely, you know, back to your opponent, just ran, 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 and didn't work out for him. It's sort of what he's doing right now as well. He's running and not dealing damage. But you can see he's obviously playing a little bit more aggressive now because he's being forced to do something. He cannot just sit back and collect items anymore. And he's really out of health and armor once again, sitting on green. Forced out of uh, that little green room by a rocket launcher. No 25s up, oh there we go, 25s did come up for him, but he doesn't have nearly enough stack to take any sort of fight, even with direct rockets, he still would not survive the fight. And that's his problem right now, is that he does not have enough health and armor to withstand any fight, even, even if his shots are spot on, he's still not going to have enough health and armor to retain the fight. And Cool is just all over him now, you know, he got a shitty spawn and since then Cool has just been... Yeah, I suppose, but... Sorry, yeah, that's a uh, trance, you can't... You guys can't hear me. Yeah, Agent just didn't take the mega, but... Yeah, not at a very good price. I mean, he has denied that 100 extra health for uh, Cooler, but... Actually, a nice railgun shot there from Agent, and Cool is to get out of there. And play the angles a bit better. So, I mean, yeah, that, that Mega still was pretty nice, but Agent, I, I still think he's making some wrong decisions. Again on the Mega, very nice there from Agent. He does take a lot of damage over it, though. And now he's got aggressive. His rockets have to be good, and he's pushed in, and there we are. There's the frag, 5-3, but he's not in left in a very good condition, and there's no health bubbles at all for him. So... He's going to have to wait out for this yellow health bubble and then drop down to the mega health bubble and look for the rail health bubble and try to make his way around to the 225s and really he's got nothing up for him. There we are, they're all coming up now. And now Cool is going to get in on the mega. 
And red's not going to be up for a while, so agent cannot stick around for this one either. Plenty of time, yeah, plenty of time on the clock there for Cooler to push in for that red. And, oh, wow, this is the closest I've ever seen two items taken at the same time right now. That red and mega are counting down in synchronization. It was really nice to see that agent could get up in Cooler's face and then make a frag happen, and I think that's what he's going to have to do again to make his next frag. Just really put Cooler in an uncomfortable position, you know, really get into him, but I mean, don't let Cooler dictate the fight. Once again, you know, in a close range fight, agent's fallen on top, so I guess Cooler's rockets just don't go so well on 30 ping. <laughs> Cooler. Or oh, playing the pillar very nicely. And again with the clicky noise, you can hear it, you actually can hear it, as I was informed earlier. Oh no, Agent, don't lose it. No, Agent. All that hard work and he's just thrown it away. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter how aggressive you are with no armor at all. It's going to be an easy win for the player in control. And uh, here we are, Cooler sort of mopping the floor a bit now. Still, uh, five frags in a minute and a half think, is doable and Agent is going to have to be good. His rockets aren't so, and Cooler just comes at him. And even though he added direct rockets before he died, it doesn't matter because he's got enough health and armor to call it a clean frag. Why not? And it looks like Cooler will be making his way into the, the grand finals. Oh, don't speak too soon, I guess. Mega's up. Oh, an Asian. Don't know where he pulled that frag from, but. I guess it's paid off for him. Red and Mega, he's gonna have to be very smooth off the spawn though. And Cooler picking up his preferred rocket launcher for a defensive game. Oh, very nice rocket there from Agent, and wow. Red is going to be up for him. Four frags still, and uh, Agent knows that he doesn't have time to wait for the round for the red. He's going to have to push into the frag and then collect the red. And Cooler at the moment is playing that running hiding game. Oh, an agent not hitting that railgun shot could have been costly for him. 40 seconds still, it's going to be really hard to make that conversion and then get a, a good string of spawn frags and Cooler just hitting the shots out of control. It's not looking good for agent right now. And it's almost impossible from here on. And that is good game. Agent calls it. He put up a really good fight there against the Cooler. Who uh, recently won the European Championships just on the weekend, so. And again. Yeah, I don't know what they're saying. It's too hard. <laughs> Neo for EM. How did you get all of that sentence out of those six words? Six letters. Ah, oh, earlier. Alright. Okay, so Alpha Omega beat uh, Golink. Beautiful. So we two, got two zero. Versus, uh, Alpha Omega. Okay. Cypher against Alpha Omega, yeah. What server are we heading to? I'm not sure because uh, Cypher was playing uh, a Russian player on a German server like <laughs> before, so. Like Jigger, don't worry, Cypher's in this tournament, right? Cooler can't win. Yeah, Draven, tournament organizer. I'm asking Cypher. Oh, I still need to fill in some squash. One sec. Okay, the bracket should be updated now. The uh, puller in the finals.
Yo, Trans, um, hello everyone on the stream. I told Fish he can join in, but he's not responded or anything, so. Oh, he said, oh. Now he's saying, hmm. Now he's saying, tempted. Don't think he knows what he wants to do. Who's Todd Fisher? Who is... Whoever you said. Who is who you said? Fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks. <laughs> Todd oh. Fisher, did you just say? Okay, Cyrus is joining a Fisher. public server now. <laughs> a Russian public server, but uh, I'll tell him to spawn one. Well, Todd Fisher on IMDB is a actor.